the real causes of high blood pressure and how to lower it naturally. Your heart pumps blood through your arteries to carry oxygen through your body. But if the arteries become too stiff or narrow, the pressure inside rises, which can increase the risk of blood clots and heart attacks, strokes, kidney damage and eye problems to name a few. Unfortunately, blood pressure medications can have long-term side effects and they don't usually fix the root causes of the problem. In this video, you'll learn about what these real causes of high blood pressure are and how to fix them using some very simple natural remedies. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have high blood pressure. Cause number one is dehydration. Dehydration is a hidden cause of high blood pressure that often gets overlooked or ignored. You see, when your body is low on fluids, it can't make enough blood. So your kidneys raise your blood pressure by triggering the release of a hormone called angiotensin. This narrows your arteries to help push the smaller amount of blood through your body faster. This hormone also causes your body to hold more sodium, which further increases blood pressure. To keep your blood pressure stable and keep your kidneys functioning properly, I suggest drinking at least 2 litres of mineral water every day. Also be mindful that caffeine, alcohol and oversweating can cause your kidneys to dry out. 2. Potassium Deficiency now, when you visit your doctor with consistently high blood pressure, the first thing that they often suggest is cutting back on salt, because of course sodium can raise your blood pressure. However, what they don't usually tell you is that a potassium deficiency is often the bigger issue. Potassium actually works with sodium to balance the fluid levels inside and outside of your cells. Without enough of this potassium, your body becomes swollen and puffy and the fluid retention puts a strain on your heart and arteries, raising your blood pressure. Ideally, you should be consuming twice as much potassium as you are sodium, but sadly 98% of people don't get enough potassium nowadays because we simply don't eat enough leafy green vegetables. And by the way, bananas aren't a very good source of potassium, as they contain a lot of sugar, which can actually deplete your potassium levels. Later in the video, I'll be talking about how to lower your blood pressure with potassium and some other important nutrients. Cause 3. High Cortisol Another extremely common yet undiagnosed cause of high blood pressure is high levels of cortisol and adrenaline. Your body releases these hormones when you're under a lot of emotional stress or anxiety, when you don't get at least 7 hours of sleep each night, or when you drink too many stimulants like coffee, tea, soda or energy drinks. Certain medications which contain corticosteroids can also raise your cortisol as well. These stress hormones put your nervous system into overdrive, making you highly alert, and you may notice tenser muscles and an overactive mind that's constantly analysing and overthinking. Over time you start to burn out and you feel more tired, but you still struggle to sleep well at night. If this sounds like it's your situation as it was mine, you can naturally lower your cortisol levels by using magnesium glycinate, vitamin B1, vitamin D or lemon balm tea. And taking long, steady walks in nature can help to calm down your nervous system. Focusing on improving your sleep and cutting out the stimulants will soon bring your blood pressure readings back to normal. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. Now, cause number 4 is extremely common, a high carb diet. When you eat lots of processed foods like sugars, starches, breads, grains, fruit juices, cereals and vegetable oils, they create a lot of inflammation and damage to the inner walls of your arteries. 
Over time, you start to get small pockets of damage or wounds in your arteries. So your body sends in cholesterol, calcium and fibrin to patch up the damaged areas like a band-aid. Unfortunately, over many, many years, this forms a thick plaque and scar tissue that narrows your arteries and this raises your blood pressure and increases the risk of heart attacks and blood clots. Fix your diet by avoiding anything that comes out of a packet, a can or a tub and replace them with wholesome, unprocessed foods like meat, fish, eggs, berries, vegetables, nuts, seeds, avocados, extra virgin olive oil and grass-fed cheeses. And by the way, the cholesterol found in unprocessed cheese does not increase LDL cholesterol in your arteries. Good quality cheese actually supports heart health by supplying a healthy fat called CLA. Reason for high blood pressure number 5 is a calcium overload. Another very common cause of high blood pressure is taking calcium carbonate supplements. People often take these as they age as they want to strengthen their bones and joints, but unfortunately this type of calcium doesn't really absorb well into the bones at all, and instead the calcium gets stuck in the smooth muscles of your arteries, causing them to tighten. Studies are showing that taking just 500 milligrams of calcium carbonate per day can raise the risk of heart attacks by 30% and strokes by 20%. I suggest avoiding these entirely and getting your calcium naturally from vegetables and imported high quality European grass fed cheeses. Also, getting enough magnesium and vitamin K2 in your diet helps to direct the calcium into your bones where it belongs. And cause number 6 is belly fat. Studies show that carrying too much visceral fat around your organs, especially in the belly region, is a major contributor to high blood pressure. Visceral fat is biologically active and it releases inflammatory chemicals which are called cytokines. These damage your arteries and make them stiffer, raising your blood pressure. Being overweight or obese also puts pressure on your heart and your kidneys, causing further damage to the arteries and raising the blood pressure. Intermittent fasting or following a low carb diet can help to shed this excess fat and lower your blood pressure naturally over time. A few other triggers of high blood pressure include low levels of vitamin D, which is common in aging adults. The chemicals in cigarettes and vapes can also cause blood vessels to constrict and harden. If you're not exercising and walking around much, this can weaken your heart. And there's also sleep apnea where you stop and start breathing intermittently in your sleep. This can drop your oxygen levels and cause blood pressure to rise. The best ways to lower blood pressure naturally. Firstly, you could boost your intake of potassium and magnesium by eating a large salad every day. Include mineral rich foods like avocados, arugula, lettuce, tomatoes and top it off with cucumber, celery, eggs and or wild salmon. The potassium and magnesium from these foods relaxes the muscles around your arteries to naturally lower your blood pressure. Exercise. Taking long walks and doing high intensity interval training can strengthen your heart and boost circulation. Walking, hiking, swimming, cycling or physical work are all excellent choices to help lower cortisol and insulin. Avoid dehydrators. Be sure to limit yourself to only 1-2 to two cups of organic coffee in the morning and avoid alcohol as these things can cause changes to blood volume affecting your blood pressure. Hydrate. This is very important. Support your kidneys in controlling the blood pressure by drinking at least 2 litres of mineral water daily. I also like to drink herbal teas like lemon balm, hibiscus or chamomile which all have blood pressure lowering effects. Improve your sleep. Consider improving your sleep quality by using a natural sleep supplement which contains magnesium glycinate, lemon balm and tryptophan. 
I'll put a link down below the video to the supplement that I personally use called Performance Lab Sleep. Sleeping better lowers your cortisol, blood sugars and blood pressure by balancing out various hormones. Eat low carb whole foods. Cut back on refined carbs, starches, sugars, processed foods and seed oils. Instead opt for whole foods that are rich in healthy fats like avocados, extra virgin olive oil, fatty fish and eggs. These will lower the inflammation in your heart and arteries to boost blood circulation. Sunlight. Spend a bit more time outside and in the sunshine to boost melatonin and vitamin D levels. These will help relax the arteries and protect them against inflammation. As you age, consider adding 20,000 international units of vitamin D3 daily to your routine along with 200 micrograms of vitamin K2. Vitamin D is very potent for lowering blood pressure and vitamin K2, not K1, helps to prevent arteries from becoming stiff with calcium by transporting the calcium into the bones where it belongs. Salt. Stop using processed table salt and switch to Celtic or Baja Gold sea salts instead. These high quality salts contain more potassium and magnesium along with other trace minerals which help to maintain electrolyte balance and support healthy blood pressure. Remember, too little salt can raise your blood pressure just as much as having too much of it. Protein. Avoid fake plant-based meats, processed meats and canned proteins. Instead it's much better to eat whole cuts of quality grass-fed beef, wild fish, pasture-raised eggs and organic chicken or turkey. Eggs are very healthy for your arteries as they increase HDL cholesterol to improve circulation. I also created a recipe for a very simple herbal tea that naturally lowers blood pressure within just days. I'll put a link to this at the end of the video. Summary. High blood pressure is very dangerous and can lead to heart attacks, strokes and blood clots if left unchecked. A very common overlooked cause of high blood pressure is being dehydrated, as is a potassium deficiency rather than just too much salt. High levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, can narrow the arteries, causing higher blood pressure. Eating too many carbohydrates causes inflammation and stiff arteries. High levels of calcium in the blood from mineral supplements can be a cause, as well as having a lot of visceral fat around the belly. You can lower your blood pressure naturally by fixing the root causes of the problem rather than just the symptoms with a medication. There is a very special drink that you can make at home using herbs and natural ingredients and lower your blood pressure instantly with just one cup. If you'd like the recipe, tap on the video that I've put on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.